Hello kings and queens, this is King Solomon bringing you guys another Modern Warfare Remastered video. Uh, I got Team Deathmatch on the pipeline. Um, um, I know what some of you are thinking. It's been three weeks, roughly, since I have did a voiceover. And um, there's really two reasons for that. But before I get into that, um, it's going to be the golden m9 with the m48 3 acod also golden perks are bomb squad uav jammer and i believe extreme conditioning so a couple changes from the sniper class um uav jammer instead of stopping power and then extreme conditioning instead of well deep impact um simply to suit the M9's role of the solo act. Um, but, um, and despite getting absolutely smacked in the face by an M16, um, this will be the last M9 footage only that you will see. Um, and it's almost guaranteed at this point because me and the M9, or this M9 in particular, I really don't care for it. Like, it's so weak. Like, you saw that. Against a Juggernaut user, oh my goodness. It takes, it takes forever to down him. Except for that one. I think he was already wounded. But the point still stands. Um, the M9 in this game... Or any Call of Duty for that matter, except for probably Modern Warfare 2, the OG, in 2009. Um, I just don't care for the M9. Um, I know it's a, a standard pistol for the current military, you know. But in-game, it's so fucking weak, man. I'm probably... It's, I'm not displaying it well, because I'm poning ass with it. But... I cannot stress this enough as I get a grenade kill that the M9 in this game is just too weak. Even with stopping power, it's just too, too fucking weak. Um, that's the reason why I run a suppressor. That's the reason I stopped using stopping power. It's the reason why I just let the big magazine just dump all the bullets I could with my fast trigger finger. It just doesn't work for me. Um, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't, it doesn't do good often but I just don't think the M9 is a good pistol I just don't it's it's just way too weak um, and I'm saying that and yet it does the same damage that the other two pistols do the USP and then um, 1911 but I feel like this and I think this one has the worst recoil I don't know it's very slight I'm pretty sure the, uh, it definitely has the biggest magazine. Um, I don't, okay, I think it has the most moderate recoil. Like, it's the one that's in the middle of the three. But I also know that it has the weakest range. And I think that's probably why the M1911 fits better in my hands. The range, I believe, on that one is a lot better. The USPs is probably the best one. But the point still stands. Like the re the the reach on the M9 is just too f too weak for me. I I can't stand it. That is why you're only gonna see three clips of it. That is why this is gonna be the finale of the M9, and the reason why I'm probably never gonna use this thing ever again. It was quite the opportunity getting this thing golden. I'm not gonna lie, but. Man, was it so frustrating to use. Like, it's at a point where I'm glad I'm moving on to something else. Which also brings me to this. The reason, one of two reasons, that I have taken forever to do a voiceover is, well, I got mentally drained, to be honest. Like, I had to take a voice break because Christmas happened, New Year's happened. I ended in December on a very 
a very poor note. Like, I was, like, in the straight-up gutter. I mean, I kind of still am, but January has been treating me a lot better so far. I know it's only been four days, but so far it's been more normal. So that's something. Um, and probably the biggest reason is I only have three foot footages left, like three videos left of Modern Warfare Remastered. So my stockpile of gameplay for this game, at least not bonus footages, is running completely dry. I mean, I wasn't planning to get back on Modern Warfare Remastered anytime soon, because the M9 upset me that much. But after seeing how much footage is here, it's probably going to happen. I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know what weapon I'm gonna try golden f next. Um, I don't really have much of a game plan, but it will happen. I'll try to get more footages. I'll probably do it in a much different manner than I usually do, but we'll see what happens. I think I have an idea on what I can do and what can happen. Um, as I just keep honing with this M9. Wow. Um, this to me is like the worst pistol in the game, uh, no question. I, I, I do not like this pistol, I, I don't like it. Um, beside that, um, it, it, it's whatever, you know? Um, anyway, um, so for the, so for the, so for what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the finale on the M9, Put the finale on the MP5, finally, and make another video of the M40, because the M40 needs some love too, you know. Friendly helicopter on the way. As uh, I get a second helicopter going. Anyway, um, yeah, after this video, I am so moving on from the M9. Um, I'll be honest, the M9 never really was my pistol. Um, like in this game, I hated it. Um, in modern, I, was it a Modern Warfare 3? I don't think it was. Was it? Oh man, I don't even know. Um, I don't think it really was, but, um, in Ghosts in particular, I know I'm using that for the bonus footages. But after doing a 9v9 with this one, and you will see some 9v9 footages for the ghost clips um, later in the year. Just not now. Um, but when that arrives, um, I think some of you will see why I get in frustration in those videos. The M9 and Ghosts really suck. Like, I honestly argued that the M9 and Ghosts is worse than this one because in this one at least i can feel the recoil i can feel the fire cap i can feel the purpose i can feel the the damage drop the range everything um like i know what i'm gonna get out of, the, out of this one but that m9 the ghost m9 as i failed to get the final clip on that and this too what a shame um you'll see that um, I find the M9 and Ghost just way too inconsistent, but that's just me, I guess. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's the end of the footage. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Final score looks like it's 21 and 6. Uh, don't forget to comment and share this video, and subscribe if you are new. And for all of my viewers and subscribers, thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys. Sorry it took so long for me to do a voiceover for those who love it, but man, I just had to take a break from it. And I'll, I'll get more out here, I promise. Anyway, until next time, farewell.